What is up? And welcome to episode two of Movement Monday. My name is Matthew Cook, and I am so excited to be here with you today. Movement Monday, we talk about everything in regards to your relationship to yourself, your relationship to others, and your relationship to your purpose and your craft. And so today, what I am so excited to talk to you about is one of my clients that I've been working with for three months who's gotten insane results, and I'm gonna just call him Chris today. Um, But one of the things that I love about Chris is he is a hard-nosed guy. He works really hard. He loves having fun and really wants to have a business that thrives and a relationship outside of it that also thrives. Now, one of the things that is so interesting about Chris, Chris is in his mid-30s and he's in real estate. And so he has one assistant and he has one person who helps him do cold calls. But what I'm excited about though for Chris is that Chris has a, a, a dark secret. Uh, When he was around 17, he had a really big traumatic experience that happened in his life and it was an experience, and maybe some of you can relate to this, where it completely flipped his world upside down. He, instead of being a fun-loving, happy-go-lucky dude, felt like he had to get really serious about life. I mean, tremendously serious. And so one of the things that's really powerful about the unconscious body mind is that while our conscious mind, the prefrontal cortex, or excuse me, the frontal cortex specifically deals in linear time, right? It deals in from the beginning of time to the end of time. It deals in uh, beginning, middle, end. It deals in past, present, future. Whereas our unconscious body mind doesn't see time and space. In fact, the amygdala, the part of the brain that registers fear and uh, excitatory fight or flight is really outside of time and space. So what's really beautiful is that we can do so much work as we work with the body and work with the mind in coming at healing from both sides of the spectrum, from the inside out and from the outside in, is that we can really start to tap into some really cool stuff. So this is what happened is we had a conversation with 17 year old Chris really diving into the pain, the shame, the frustration from this particular event. And now what's so crazy and incredible is that we are starting to unleash his playfulness, unleash his passion into his family and into his world. So he's now um, building an ant farm with his little guy and he is also taking walks in nature and he's going downhill skiing and he's like doing all of these things that he felt like he wasn't allowed to do and again because he got so serious from this traumatic event that happened when he was 17. So the point here being is that your unconscious body mind lives outside of time and space. And again, for Chris, it had tremendous results in being able to unlock that and break free of the chains of the story that he had to be so serious and he had to get it right because he messed it up when he was younger. So with that, I'm so excited for you to be able to express more of yourself and have more opportunities to fully live into what you're here for, including your playfulness and your goofiness and your ability to have fun and feel all of your passion in life by expressing through your unconscious body mind. So that's Movement Monday, episode two. I am so excited to be here with you guys, coming at you every single Monday with a new episode talking about how you can keep moving forward as a solopreneur, entrepreneur in your relationships to yourself, to others, and to your purpose and craft. And that is it for this week. Shoot me a PM if you have any questions or if this really resonated for you. I'd love to be able to help you in a similar way. But that is it for episode two, Movement Monday. Talk to you soon.